Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people. The Nirmer here with another library. Oh, library free not <laughs> gameplay. Uh, I never do this game in the morning, so today is gonna be a little bit sloppy, but it's gonna be okay. I just woke up and it's time to play. I'm pretty happy, smiling, uh, looking at one of my favorite games right now. Um, it has its own charm, right? So last time we did the abnormality for Tip Ferret here. Um, I just want to do a couple of a couple of uh, explanations here. I'm not gonna fight it. I just wanna talk a little bit about some things here. So yeah, my lovely commenters were kind enough to tell me a couple of things. So. <clears throat> Well, one thing really. So this small text that you barely see, it says this die deals clash damage equal to dice value times 2.1% to the target. It's max HP. Uh, I really don't see that. I'm really sorry. I thought that was 21%. I was confused the whole run wondering why does not does it not kill me? Well, Turns out it's only 2%, that's still quite a lot, that's like anything between 6 and 12 extra damage or so, a little bit less, but still quite quite powerful attack nonetheless, but it's not 21%, it's 2.1 and well, I don't know, it's, too, it's just too small, too little for me, I don't see it. From what I can tell it's 21%, I guess those who know the game really well, they got it clarified on the... Um, on the forums or such, or developer confirmed it, I don't know, but I just don't see the dot. So I really thought it's 21% and then when it didn't kill me, I thought it was bugged. Also, I learned something about the ranged attacks. Hmm, every day you learn something new. Uh, I think uh, Gold is the one who told me all of this. Anyhow, if it was somebody else, I apologize. But usually Gold is the one who tells me all these things in the comments. Um, uh, I found out that uh, if you're if when you're defending against the ranged attacks, right? <coughs> Sorry, because you always have to defend against ranged attacks first. They go first, right? Uh, so first the ranged attacker goes, shoots, pew 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 pew. You defend with, with your with your uh, with your melee attack, and then uh, after that you go and attack with your melee, right? Well, here's the thing, uh, the your offensive clashes recycle well your your uh, your clashes recycle basically when defending up against ranged attacks uh your uh, you can defend multiple times with only one value right and i didn't know that so when transpears defended against a card with three attacks right first the top one defended then it recycled then the middle one defended and then the top one defended as well this is not ideal because because my middle defense is only 2 to 7. So it would be much better if I had one strong effect that would defend against all the ranged attacks. So what would that be? I don't know. Something like this, right? So this one would be way better defense against a triple ranged attack than Transpierces. Has one less, but uh, is that really important? It is blunt though, so it would not be as great, but uh, I, I guess I could figure something out. Okay, so that's that. Surely there is a good pierce attack as well, right? Surely. There's no way there isn't, right? <laughs> there isn't. Okay, well, so yeah, I should have used hard circles on instead. Plus this one also restores, no, not hard reversal, heavy peaks. Also, inflicts one feeble. <laughs> it just makes it even better, right? Yeah, this this would probably be the card to to do to, to the the Knight of Despair with instead of Transpierce. And then if I have this one, and if that if that defends against all free ranged attacks, then this card becomes obsolete, and I can bring something else. Good to know. Good to know. Anyhow, so here I have my decks. I'm using like a lot of card draw. I'm using a lot of light gain. I'm using this to paralyze my enemies, but I think I'll drop this at some point. But for now, we're gonna keep it like that because I'm curious about the continuation of the story. So 
We need to... Uh, well, are we gonna use Tiferet now? Although she only has six cards here. So supposedly this reapplies every scene. That's what I was told. If the character took damage from attacks in the previous scene, change the character's resistance against the type that dealt the most damage to endure it for this scene. Um, right. After winning a clash using an offensive die, random ally recovers 3 to 5 HP. <laughs> interesting things, interesting things. No mass, something that would give everyone something good. You know what, let's play with Tiferet a little bit. Let's show some love to Tiferet here. Okay, uh, we'll need another page though. So we got Salvador, Saya, Oscar, and I'm gonna, I don't know, pick up Hanafuda here, I guess. Doesn't matter too much. I'm like super powerful. Uh, let's see, load the page list. Okay, load it. There we go. So, what am I missing here? I'm missing one flash of sun up. I'll just grab sparking spear then. Uh, page draw. There we go. I'll just grab two of these, I guess. Okay. Cool. Uh, as for the as for the cards here, uh, Hanafuda is not the best. I'm gonna be replacing Hanafuda because these just don't work out for me. I'm gonna grab Solidarity here. It's just all around really good to think. Plus one strength. I have three more now. I have a lot of peers, so I'm gonna drop this, grab this jolting puncture and uh, oinky oink sounds good. Give feeble to two random enemies and Momo Jean. Where's the third one? I just take this. Well, I don't have many blunt attacks, doped. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Let's grab some pierce, I guess. Cannot grab pierce? Oh, that's a disappointment. Let's just grab the piercer here. There. Okay, cool. So this is just like tacked on, just so we have some things. But I don't like Hanafuda because bottom deal and stacking the deck is not the strategy I like to play. I guess it could be somewhat useful, but yeah. So why are you using Hanafuda then? I don't know. What else would I use? <laughs> Olga has the similar problem. I could use Mars, I guess. Yeah, I need a new page. We're gonna replace it soon, so let's not let's not worry about that. Okay, so yeah, I should be a little bit more tentative towards ranged attack enemies. I'm probably not gonna use this one anyway, since fights are usually a three player, three players. But yeah, let's try out the first of the malice here a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go to the invitation here. So we are on Urban Nightmare now. So yeah, hello, new missions. I'm expecting the difficulty to spike up a little bit here. So we're gonna need a book of Sayo and we're gonna need a book of Kurukomo clan. And uh, yeah, ooh, three acts. Okay, that, uh, that sounds a little bit uh, dangerous. Let's go. I mean, three receptions back to back. Oh, sweepers. Oh, these are the dudes that the carnival is killing. These are like the super bad dudes. So, yeah, today we turned some really bad people into some books. Um, Anton, sweeper. 578217982138213. Valerie, 129, blah, blah. Uh, 
yeah, uh, let's not read all this about so a random number, big random number. <laughs> I guess they talk in uh, gibberish. They talk in numbers, not binary, but uh, still in numbers. Okay, this dude has like an interesting weapon here. Do you speak? No, just you and Valerie. I guess uh, this dude here doesn't know his numbers or do does. Oh, there we go. 05043. Not a very talkative one. Very short number. Oh, I guess there is more, but the game's like, okay, okay. <laughs> I knew it. It's pretty much impossible to understand the language of sleepers without an interpreter to translate them for you. Right. Wait, I can promptly translate their speech as long as it has the form of a language. What? Well, seriously? You can make sense out of those few sentences and decode a whole language from them? I am that capable. Uh, I have to disagree here. Um, I'm like program engineer, computer scientist and... Capability has nothing to do with it. If you don't have enough information, you just cannot do it. You just need, you need uh, at, at least some information. Without information, capability doesn't matter. It's like if somebody, let's let's look at the extreme case, right? If one of them came and said one, and she was like, "Yep, I can do it." No, you can't. He just said one. It can mean anything, right? So, you would need like. You will need uh, a lot of information, a lot of source. You will need some context. But anyway, unless unless she has like some other talents she uses that we are not aware of, unless she can peer inside their head, but then she's not really interpreting their language. She's just reading minds at that point. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> sorry for that. Oh, right, so she's interpreting it now for us. How nice of her. It is becoming clear that the night is no longer ours alone. I think they're referring to me. I know. I know that we have fewer and fewer places to properly dine at with our families. I hear that the families who dine at the nest of El Corp are recently having a hard time seeing what is in front of them because of that mist covering the area. I hear that some families even got lost in the fog and failed to leave. Why are we not letting Mother know? If Mother knows, she will wage an all-out war against the Index. We are not certain enough to risk losing our families to battle. If it is true that the Index truly has betrayed us, and if Mother is too late to realize their treachery, many of our families will starve. They will slowly die out. Less food means mother will have difficulty fostering new family members. Oof, this mother sounds really, really bad. Fostering new family members. Who's the mother? So I guess mother takes people and turns them into these things. And that process is called fostering. Mm. Ah, like a foster home. You take a abandoned child and you give it home. But yeah. Uh, they talk more than last time. <laughs> we all have our own homes, our own families, and our own children. I'm not advocating neglect, I'm simply saying that we need to practice caution. So this one's cautious, this one's like, let's do it, and this one's like, gonna be a tiebreaker, I guess. Villa. Well, what's that? Looks very bloody. You know that if... You know that it has only been a week since those despicable filth known as the Carnival raided the dance of our brothers and ate our families. Yeah. Five days ago, Le Leher the Loop invaded my younger sibling's den and brutally killed two families. Oh, that's, that's the lady we already saw, the wolf lady. Three days ago, a proxy of the Index laid waste on our neighbors. Oh, those are like Dalok, Alok and whatever the third dude was, right? With observe abilities. Two days ago, Petir took my children and just... Okay, they're having some hard time, these sweepers do, but uh, they're bad, so we don't sympathize, I guess. Oh, look at that. He stomped something. She stomped something. A lot of blood. Doesn't feel very gory because of the graphic style, though. Doesn't feel very realistic. 
I know. I know that those incidents all happened that night. I know that our presence is not as powerful as before. I know that we have lost our dominance over the night time of this nest. Mother should be aware as well. We know that we need more space to use as our den. Then why... Uh, we will only lose more of our dance if we get involved in bigger conflicts. If we were to engage in a full-fledged battle against the Index, we will have even less time in our hands. We must make it through on our own. What will we possibly do? It is the library. We must go to the library. Of course you do. I mean, we knew they'll come to the library. That's usually how it goes, right? We see a cutscene and then they come to the library. I know that the library has the books of those who worked for the Thumb and the Index. Have you received its invitation? I have. With this, we can confirm if the Index truly has turned its back on Mother and our families. Moreover, this will help us relieve the hardships of our families dining at Nest L. If we are not too late by then, that is. I understand what you mean, Uncle. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let us call our neighbors. Let us head to the library together. Let us tell our children to lock the doors and not let strangers in before we leave. Let, let, let us as parents protect our mother, our neighbors, our family and our children with our own hands. Whoa, are we really getting sweepers as guests here? Yes, we are. They have the capacity to collectively go somewhere with a clear purpose at a time that isn't night and talk so fluently. That's funny. I expected them to be a little coarser. I once got an interpreter to try to talk to them before. I thought they could only speak in jumbled words back then. But boy oh boy, look at them using complete sentences. And they are so talkative with each other too. That means the interpreter I paid an arm and a leg for was a total scam and a ripoff. Well, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> if you don't know, if you don't um, understand the business that the person performing does for you, usually gonna get scammed. So yeah, I had my boiler repaired and at some point, so the pressure was low and uh, so this dude comes and like he he repairs it and charges me leg and an arm. Not really, but a lot. And then the pressure dropped again after a year or so, so I called another, another one. And he was like, go to the boiler, take your screwdriver, find this, okay, put it in. Turn it a couple of times until the pressure is up and that's that, right? He didn't even charge for that. And then the other dude pretended he did something for half an hour. And of course, since I don't understand boilers, heaters, uh, I was none the wiser. So yeah, you learn as, I go, as you go in life. So yeah, always ask a second opinion. That would be my advice if you need something fixed. Uh, Call a couple of people, ask how much that will cost, and uh, who knows, maybe you got lucky, maybe you can do it yourself. Are the sweepers all composed of family members? It's probably just a symbolic term they choose to forge bonds between each other. I doubt they are actually families by blood. It's metaphorical like the t titles most other syndicates use. Yeah, but why would family imply that it needs to have a blood connection? Is this a dictionary? So yeah, I actually enjoyed the metaphor. I think uh, the family should be much wider than it is. Sometimes in family, like actual ties are not, not the strongest. You have many families where things just don't work out. <laughs> you raise a child, I guess, and the child just has a different temperament, different personality. Genetic tricks says and researchers that like you can influence like half of person behavior by teaching them and like about half is genetics so yeah. I heard they kidnap children from outskirts and the back streets. Well yeah, they foster them. I don't really suggest looking too deep into sweepers. They're all over the back streets and the outskirts and I don't think they have much to do with the freedom you're looking for anyway. Well, who knows? Your neighbors, this is the library. So yeah, Valerie calls them neighbors now, not family. So yeah.
This is the place the scum of the back streets have been rattling on about. We did not expect to come to the library ourselves. Greetings, dear guests. Greetings, are you our family? <laughs> there is no way I am now, is there? However, you speak in the language of our family. We can speak with other members of our family. I try to talk to the guests on their level these days. As you can see, I'm impressed. This is surprising. Behold, neighbors, the library is not like any other place. I know, this is the first time we're having a real conversation with someone who is not our family. Family, 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 family. Could you stop with that horrid rubbish? Family is important. It's not horrid. We apologize. We are simply here to take the books we desire. There we go. In regards to the mist covering the nest nest, did you know? Do you know anything about it? You'll find out when you read the books, no? Oh, she doesn't want to tell them. That's true. All we want is to acquire the books we want to find. We will be satisfied. Fine. May you find your book in this place. Right. Um. Oh, hello there. So we're gonna fight five people this time. <laughs> Corpse cleanup. When another character dies, recover 20% max HP at the end of the scene. Liquefied Flash, Defensive Dice Power plus one. So they don't have super strong abilities, but let's see the cards. On use, restore two light. Three to seven on hit, recover two HP. Oh, I like this card, I cannot tell you that much. So I'm using uh, cleanup. I think this one's way better than the one I'm using. It also has a defense die below that, which can be useful. Okay. Combat start. All dice the players play lose two power for this scene. Night in the back streets. Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> three, 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 one, nine, seven, three. Single use, on use, gain persistence for four scenes. What the heck is a persistence? Upon taking lethal damage, 80% 80 80 chance to revive with some HP. This chance is halved each time the character revives. Oh, really? A bit random, but... I kind of like it. If your character is about to die, just plop this, right? I don't know. Might be useful in some fights. I'm already thinking how I'm gonna use it. I'm not even thinking what it means for this fight. We're gonna get wasted here. <laughs> oh, no, no. This is... Uh... Oh, no. Okay. This one we cannot use. Sweepers exclusive page can only be set in the decks of sweepers key pages. Trash disposal. All offensive dice on this page gain on hit recover 2 HP. If the natural die rolls a 3, recycle this die up to 6 times. Oh, it's like, you know, you put the enemy on the ground and like... Bam, 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 right? As long as you're angry, you just keep mashing them in. Okay, a lot of coin flipping here. This one could be pretty annoying. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too happy about fighting these sweepers here. So what's the most important thing here? I don't know. They recover a little bit of HP, it's not super crazy. What's your... okay, they are weak to peers. So 
So I guess Sparking Spear is gonna be good. Do we use this one? I don't think so, right? Well, except we are out of spears. <laughs> um, So I don't want this because this will deal damage to me and it's already already gonna be a pretty long fight anyway, so I mean retaliate might be useful, it's pierce attack. something to give me an extra edge here not tell nothing else here's my chance feather shield I mean, it's a three scene fight, so, right? Defense, recover, standoff, on hit recover 2 HP, on hit recover 1 HP, 2 HP, 4 HP but only once, 2 HP once for 1, this one has a little bit of So instead of hurting myself, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that. There we go. Some healing. So hopefully I can heal a little bit, right? So the fight will start really hard with five of them going for me. But as, as we kill them, the fight will start going in my favor. And maybe we can heal up a little bit using the the feast i'm not expecting miracles or anything like that also five to seven is actually not a bad block right well let's see how it goes i can always repeat it if we fail hello there mr sweepers i see less things to sweep than in the streets our work is to sweep hmm. So obviously I'll have a dice advantage, right? But they'll have a number advantage. And this is a really stupid way to start the fight on their behalf, because... What's the point of these cards, right, on the start of the fight? It's not like you're gonna die. You should use this fight uh, when you're about to die. Or do they know about my secret tactic where I just go <laughs> after one of them? So let's see. These two go there, right? Okay, three of them go here, let's see. Pierce normal, so I'm not gonna get destroyed here or anything. 
and then this dude goes there right let's see pierce normal right and this one goes there as well okay normal how about you okay you are enduring so we can like grab some enemies here this one in particular Three to eight. Three to eight. Three to eight's pretty pretty strong actually. So even if it goes through. Actually you know what? I don't care if it goes through, I just wanna pick it up because I'm very strong against Pierce, so we cannot intercept that one. We can intercept this one though. There we go. So basically we heal a lot here just by taking the pierce damage on uh, on this dude here instead. Right, right. Okay then, after that, let's see. One goes there, one goes there, another one goes there. Okay. So maybe we can like pick up this one here as well. There we go. So now two people go here. Okay, and we can smack this one around. How do we smack a person around, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna find out. Now, this will not do like any kind of crazy damage or anything. I mean, I could. I could if I wanted to. I'm gonna use one spear here, actually. Oh, I have battle tactics here, so we start with very little cards. You actually, do you have it? No, we, we draw very little sparking spears here. A little bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Okay, and now I want this thing to go against the slowest card. Although... Oh. I can go against the four, but not against these two. That's too bad. It's probably gonna go off. Okay. Maybe not, we'll see. Oh, the Flash of Sunup actually won that fight, <laughs> which was not expected at all. I was fully expecting to get hit there. We almost staggered it. Like... Oh. Nice. I'm getting like some stupidly crazy rolls here. Okay. It's not as hard as I was afraid of. Now this, this card, this card I'm afraid of. This effect here can recycle up to six times. And that's really, really scary. Um, actually not sure what I want to do against that. I mean, trying to stagger them obviously would be a good idea. So this one's not getting attacked, so it's pretty, he's pretty much useless here. Cannot intercept anything, so he can just go and finish this one off, right? Um... Well, like he can stagger somebody else for the next turn as well, but... So this is 6, so 12 minimum. Nah, let's just go for it here. There you go. So I can finish him off. Now let's see what's happening here. Uh, this one, all dice the user plays looks too powerful for this scene. So this is gonna be 4 to 7, right? And 3 to 7, 4 to 7, 3 to 7. Nothing super crazy, I don't care too much about this one. 
This one's not weak to anything, so that's okay. This one here. Weak to blunt. Yeah, ideally all the damage goes here. Yeah, these two are weak to blunt, so if I can, I should intercept the damage. Go there, go there, go there. Okay, two attacks go there, so I'm gonna grab one of those. There we go, I'm gonna grab this one here. Uh, let's see. Well... This might straight up, like, stagger, right? Maybe. Depends how much I roll, right? I'll try it. I'll try it. And then let's draw a card. Although we'll have very low light next turn if this goes badly. Okay, how about you? What can you use? Well, you can use Transpierce as well. Okay. And then finally you. You can use Transpierce as well. So yeah, let's rely on our Transpierce here to do the heavy lifting. We rolled a 15. That was not enough. Okay. So we didn't recycle that thing, so that's good. 24. How much stagger resist do they have? Oh, that's too bad. Okay, at least they're not they're they're not getting like coin flips. There we go. Book of sweeper obtained. Ooh, I messed something up there. Yeah, they're they're not rolling maximum values. I got super lucky here actually. Uh, okay, after winning the clash using an offensive die, random ally records 3 to 5 HP. Yeah, I will definitely go with love here. And one of these three. Uh, now, I'm not sure. Not sure which one is the best one. So this is Sayo, right? Dark Cloud Blade. This is Light of Daybreak. Uh, that's the Volter. That means this is Oscar, right? Oscar has plus two damage on Pierce. He's the most likely to win clashes. Let me just check if I actually chose right. Yeah, we have Veg and Solidarity. So plus two. So he's the most likely one to. So this is our healer now. All hail the healer. Well, my HPs are pretty high and now it's a fair fight. It's a fair fight. I almost clicked that. Oof, that would not be good. Okay, they're doing some more trash disposal. Last turn I was super lucky though, they did not get repeated attempts at their thing. So again, I want the damage to go here because this one has uh, really good pierce and normal, while this one has weak to, to, to plant. These two have weak to plant. Should be easy to stagger them though, now that, yeah. This one's a 5. If I want to intercept that, I have to do it here, right? You go here, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, just these two then. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll intercept this 5, I guess. Has only 3. Enduring. Right, so increases the power of defensive die. That's not good, but hopefully we have something we can win that against.
You're strengthened and have solidarity. No wedge though. Okay. So this will be 4 to 8 against 2, 3 to 8. 4 to 8 against 3 to 8. I don't know. I'll try with the sparking spear here. There we go. This one gets uncontested, that's fine I guess. On hit, on use extract, right, he didn't roll really good. Okay, so what can you fight with? Also sparking spear I guess. As Rosan Kart, I want my Transpears back. And then everyone else just 2, 4, 6, 7. I can still draw cards. Okay, you have Transpears though. You have Transpears, you can grab this one. If you want. No, we'll do it next turn on somebody. This one will probably mess up anyway. I should probably start using feasts as well. Ah, uh, this one's struggling a little bit with cards. So let's just play that. Uh, this one's really good on cards. Let's let's draw my whole deck here, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that! It's so beautiful. A lot of passion went into this game. So I'm only playing one card here because I want to this one to recuperate. Basically what I want is oh I do already have feast though. Oh that's a high roll. Oh nice. Another high roll. Yeah, that's like come on, game. Calm down there a little bit. Now this is the problem, right? Did you see that? There was like a lot of damage there. Another high roll, so... Okay. So they're going into the... Into the second fight pretty bumped up here. Justice. On a successful pierce attack, if the roll max well, deal bonus damage. That's fine. Uh, after losing clash, take two to four stagger damage again when strength next scene. After, after losing three clash in a single scene, reduce the cost of the most expensive page in hand by one. Once per scene. So, I don't know. I think this is better, probably. I mean, I'm looking for healing, right? This one's also cool. Yeah, this is for damage, and this is like... You know what? If we happen to lose a clash, yeah. Just a little bit more reliability. Okay, so this... Uh, this one should be too hard. Am I the chosen one? Who would protect the world besides me? Oh, come on. <laughs> Calm down a little bit there. Um, come on. With how much HP do? It's hard to say. Right. Um, I think it's time we start feasting here, right? I'm gonna use Transpears here and hopefully stagger it. 6 to 18. Should win. Game, don't throw me now. And then let's feast. A little bit of HP will help. I don't need a lot. Okay, what are you doing? Not 
not a very strong card actually. I want you to win the clash. When you win the clash, you heal somebody. And you don't really need healing yourself, right? So yeah, sure. Let's win the clash with Transpears here. Why not? There we go. So we do this and we do that. That's pretty good. You need some healing. Yeah, you can feast. You can feast on that one. You need some HP. A little bit. Staggered, nice. Transpears, there we go. Heal somebody. Yeah, I can see our HP is going up, that's nice. Uh, I think Diferet is probably not the best one to take. I just not sure how was my threshold for emotions and stuff. Yeah, if you can go to emotional level 4, that would be amazing. I, however, do not think that's even possible. How come this one is emotional level 3? Oh. Maybe it can. Okay, <laughs> now it's the reverse situation. And now their, their thing ran out, so... They're ready to be picked up and killed. So now oh, they're playing this again because yeah, why not, right? So I just need to be in a clash here and finish them off. Well, I want you to win a clash for sure, but where are they going? Yeah, they have sixes, so I don't know if that's an accident. It's it's not an accident, right? So this one has two HP. Yeah, yeah, we cannot intercept though. So this is what I need to do here. Not necessarily, but... A little bit of an overkill, right? <laughs> Too bad we cannot intercept here, even with a 6. So we can win a clash and... Yeah. Oh well. Okay. 3 to 8. Eight to eight, five to seven. So we're going there. I guess I'll just heal then. King. Are you missing any HP? Uh, it's a little bit hard to say. It's a little bit hard to say. I can always use it the next turn. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Okay. Well, two of my dudes are a little bit wounded, but I can, like... There we go. There we go, we got some HP back, yay! There we go. Yeah, this one's problematic. I definitely want a stagger here. <clears throat> and I can do it. 
So just gonna need to land a Transpierce, right? Transpierce should do 12 stagger damage. That's almost enough by itself. That's just a 3, though. Uh, let's see, let's see. What's this? I started with Sing Gain 1 Endurance, right, okay. Uh, so how do we go around this? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to stagger this thing, right? So I need 16. And then this dude here. Twenty something, twenty one. So he's a four. He's a four, and this one's a three. Ooh, we only have three five, so I have to choose carefully here. How do I want to do this? I think it's just best. Uh, let's see. You go there. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Where do you go? There. I mean, I can tank with him. I'll just pick this one up, and then this one... They're targeting my fast dice. But that's really not helping. Let's try to... So, this is 6 to 18, and this is 6 to 14. So this one's definitely stronger, right? Okay, let's do it like this. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do some strong attack here. Problem is, we have no pierce attacks here, whatsoever. And then we're gonna deal with that. So first, this one just lands a couple of small attacks, nothing super fancy, but it's gonna help. And then the transpierce will stagger, so, so this thing will not go through, hopefully. Okay. Oh, let's draw some cards. Well, actually, no. Feast, yes. There we go. At this point, I don't want to do any other attacks than, uh, than Feast, because I want to heal as much as possible. Unless I want to stagger the enemy, right? That's the exception. Now he's staggered and dead, apparently. I wanted him to come back to life with his ability, but it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, I guess maybe they didn't even have it. Okay, so yum yum here. If you have... If you have... No, you don't have it. Okay. How about Tiferet? Do you have uh, Yum Yum? You have Yum Yum. Okay. What's your HP? Uh, you're pretty much full. Okay. So you have Yum Yum. I can use the cleanup if you want. There we go. I could have left it alive, I guess, but that's okay. I feel good about my HP levels. I also start with some extra abnormalities now for the next fight, so... This setup is pretty good for, uh, like, multiple acts here. So we get, like, uh, a identical fight here. So this is where healing is important, right? To be able to go from fight to fight, not really taking too much damage. And I should start with way more light this time, because my emotions levels up, are, are up. Okay. I feel like this is the maximum for Tiferet, and that's the downside of playing Tiferet here. I think I'm gonna play with somebody else, they can only get to tier 3. And that's a huge difference. If I was able to go to tier four, tier 4, this would be a much easier fight. So I pretty much gimped myself here. And badly at that. Okay, this dude is actually doing trash disposal. Interesting. 
Okay, so he has to be taken care of if possible. I don't want this thing proccing six times. And it could proc six times. Trust me on that. I can grab it here because this one... No. Did... Who's strong with, sta with... Oh, you are. Okay, that's good then. You're going at the wrong right target. So we take half damage from that. So that's fine. Uh, also, we want to win clashes here, if possible. I think Sparking Spear has like a good chance to do some good here, we'll see. And then after that, we just do, I don't know. Either this for more light, although we are okay with light, let's draw a card. Okay, that's about for that. And then these are not super dangerous. I can pick this one up as well with my uh, Enduring Pierce dude. Okay, so he takes these two, right? This one has very low strength, so we can win a clash here easily. This one we can like pile up on though before he gets his card off, right? Where are you going anyway? Are oh, you going here? Oh, that's good. I was hoping for that. Okay. Um, that's fine. Oh, that's pretty good. Really good. We're not going to get a lot of damage here. Okay, so plan here is to do as much damage on this one then, right? Sparking Spear. Really good, I like it. Oh, Sparking Spear as well. It must be my birthday. There we go. So this one's kind of effed. He rolled an 8. Of course he rolled an 8, why not? <laughs> it wouldn't be fun without little bit RNG, right? Yeah. Yeah, his, this one's pretty much messed up. I wonder how ready I'll be for the final fight here. I'd say pretty ready. So in theory, this fight should go a little bit better than the last time. Just because my emotion levels are already up, we're starting with a lot of light and all of that. So now all of them will do trash disposal, right? Now, now is the moment that things start going badly. Uh, right. Especially since I did not really do a lot of stagger. Maybe my tactic here was not the best, right? And I rolled really badly as well. So I cannot, like, stagger one of them. Um... I mean, this one's slow, but uh, that's not gonna work. Okay, let's see. Six, where are you going? Here. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, Transpear is always gonna win. If I roll like. So I got seven to 19. Weak. So that means they get 1.5 more damage, right? So to do 19, I would have to do like 13. I mean, it's not impossible, not very likely either, but. What's the alternative here, right? I can be playing feasts. I want to protect these two if possible, but they rolled so good. They rolled really good. So I don't have much agency here. What's going on? This one's attacked twice. I'm gonna pick this one up with somebody. Well, with you, right? I mean, that makes most sense. You get less damage from Pierce, and the last dangerous attack that we're afraid of is Pierce. Um, 
No problem is I kind of want to defend against the second attack here, but I don't have my piercing spear, so that's not gonna happen. So transpears here, I think it's a waste, actually. Just pick this up. And then let's see. I do want to win clashes though. I mean, this will win a clash and heal somebody, so that's not too bad, right? Five to seven. I mean, this might win, but I don't want to use that for that. I think it's fine. We just take this hit and then we just... I don't know, draw a card. Okay. So that takes care of that thing and that thing. Then you're going down there and you're going down there. So how do we fight this thing then? Transpear is not really the best card to go against trash disposal, I just realized. I mean, I could have paralyzed them, I guess. I guess we just pick it up and then do a lot of stagger damage. And we pick it up and then do a lot of stagger damage. Or not. Uh, yeah, let's use somebody to get some stuff back. Also this one. I can just kill him. Probably should do. How much damage do we need here? That's probably not gonna be enough, right? We need more. Well, he's already like getting some. Let's do one more just for good measure. There we go. Okay, proc'd once, that's not too bad. Proc'd once, not too bad. I mean, it is what it is, right? There we go. Oof. That wasn't enough to stagger it, really? 60? Shouldn't that be 24 stagger damage, or am I missing something here? Maybe I'm just missing something here. Okay, this one's staggered, that's good. So I believe between the receptions my stagger will regain itself. Okay, what are you doing? Extract fuel, extract fuel. Right, so that's not too, too bad, right? I mean, this one's already going here, and he has good stagger, uh, good uh, good pierce resist. And if I pick this one as well, then uh, that's solved, right? Then I have to see what I'm doing with this one. So he's doing like a lot of damage. He's also a six, so we can't really do much here. him being a six is a big problem basically this would be good if i had enough light so kind of messed it up there last turn why do you have to roll a six dude uh it's four to four to seven i mean i can try with this five to seven four to six yeah let's just gamble here So two of you, you like to play feasts, right? If you can. Is that is the time for it coming yet though? That's my question. I mean, you do have a lot of cards in hands. It's not too bad of a card. Ideally though, I want to be on a lot of light. So... Let me paralyze this thing though. No, no, that's too expensive. 
I mean, you can just mess this one up, though. And he's not gonna do anything. I mean, you can probably win this fight if I just go with Sparking Spear instead. And this one as well. Why tank damage here, even if I'm enduring, if I can just win it, right? here no yes Feast. heal me heal me there we go yeah well gamble paid off like half and half so that's okay I guess yes yeah, sparking spear doing the work that's good okay he um he survived. He lost the persistent though. Okay, now these two should be pretty easy to mess up. This one though, let's see. Okay, he's using that thing. And here. Okay, well, I want to win a clash here, so I'm just gonna transpierce him. That's ideal. Okay, what are you doing? Mm. Now, this one's a four. So I can go Transpierce here actually then, there we go. Where are you going by the way? Okay. You... You're just a 3. So you can, we can probably mess you up somehow. And the 4 here, right, you can use Transpierce if you have it, you don't have it. 3 to 8. 3 to 8. 3 to 8. Mmm... So let's see. I can use this and I can use this. Will that be enough to finish him off? Probably not. And then again, even if it doesn't, I'm not gonna cry too much. You go there, right. You go here. You. Oh, right, you. Totally forgot about you. I mean, 3 to 8 as well. Ah, whatever. Let's go. Staggered. Good. Well, this one might die. No. Spear staggered, nice. So we're gonna <laughs> stagger all of them, then we're gonna eat them. <laughs> okay, these two are about to die, so that's good. I'm getting a little bit low on light. It really hurts me that my tier 3 is the maximum. Definitely did not need to take different into this one. So this one's a 5, I cannot like interrupt it or anything, so a sparking spear here would be really good, so I'm gonna do just that. There we go. And then this one, okay. This one needs to go, but shouldn't be too hard. I can just go two cleanups here. Really fast and then clash with something I don't care too much about. There we go. And then uh, feast there. And you can uh, like feast there as well. A little bit low on like light here. Oh really? With wedge and solidarity, we won't lost that one. Oh nice, we got two charges here. That's cool. Are you finally dying off? Yep, you are. Only two left. Good. 
And this one's full on. Okay, 3 to 8, and you 3 to 7, record 2 HP. Okay, should be easy to win those clashes. They're both going there. I can intercept this one here if I want to. Question is, do I have a good card to do it? I mean, Sparking Spear 4 to 8. He has 3 to 7. He has strengthened. Not sure where he gained that from. Probably some kind of passive or something. And character dies, something like that. I don't know. Oh, this one's going there, though. That's interesting. Will this stagger him? Oh, no. I can't. Yeah, right. That's a bit of a problem here. You know what? Let's just do that and... Uh, and that. Yeah, and you... I'm gonna pick you up with this one. There we go. Clean up. Well, actually, you can do... There we go. I'm a little bit of weak turn, but only two enemies, so it will not be too much damage here, hopefully. Okay, Flash of Sunup actually won that brawl. Yeah, it's pretty good. We still have one full floor for the final fight if I need it, so that's good. Yeah, I definitely forgot about the... I was like, okay, I have six abnormality pages. They're pretty all right. I don't need anything else. But I really need, like, uh, emotion level four here. Oh, look, this one's actually emotion level something. Okay, this one's staggered. Okay. Well, I do want to feast, right? Although, <laughs> this one healed up almost to full. That's really nice. Okay, we're gonna feast here first. There we go. Uh, then I'll do the Sparking Spear, and then we're gonna clash with this one. You can also feast. There we go. Here. Feast. 13. 13. Let's go there. And then some light. Okay, uh, I messed up the clashes again. <laughs> Good job, but I've won. <laughs> so that was kind of lucky. Yeah, this actually ha kind of helps. We get more healing. Yeah, we're pretty much healed up here. That's really good. Fist, good. Maybe there's a better healing card, but... Okay, he rolled a lot. I don't like that. And he's going here. Eh. So bad for me. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? Well, I don't. That's the answer. Um, well, I have a feast here. No feast here. But I do want to do slowly damage here. There's no reason to like push this towards whatever. That's me paralyze him. Why not? Okay, only once, that's good. There we go, paralyze. There's some cards. Heal a little bit more. Yeah, only Luis really is damaged here, so that's good. So where is Luis? Luis, do you have a feast by any chance? You actually do, that's nice. That's a Ford though. Uh, please don't go there. There you go. 
maximum roll on cleanup. And there you go. Oh, he still has some juice in him, so who's gonna eat him up? Go, go, my little vampires who wants to heal. Luis, did you happen to draw another feast? You did, you lucky son of a gun. You lucky son of a gull. Okay, I'd say I'm pretty set for the third one here. Imagine if I could go to up to tier 4, how broken that would be. <laughs> uh, different, different. Yeah. Right, Anton, Lila, Sweeper, two Sweepers and Valerie, right. So they get uh, a new ability here, Mind Hollow, record to stagger resist on a successful attack, okay. It seems like they all have that, right. Do we have any new cards? Extract fuel. So they have sweep the back streets. Oh, they do paralysis. Okay. What do you do? Give one protection. Right. For the family! Right. Valerie. Oh, Valerie, Valerie. You, Valerie, you have nothing. <laughs> You're just like a regular sweeper. Except you are normal and endured. Still weak to stagger though. This is single use though, right? No, this one's not. How about this one? This one's single use. But these ones are not. Yeah, I hate these cards. I think they're really good. Super exclusive though. I mean, not. They're really good for enemies if they get lucky on uh, the final one to recycle. It's not good enough for me to use. I don't think so anyway. Well, let's go. We have another floor available if this goes bad. I think if we kill some of them, they don't join the next fight, right? Hopefully. Okay, this one has Fuel 3. So first turn is when we can do a lot of magic here, right? <laughs> 6 though. Okay, so they all start protecting themselves. I guess this is what they always play if they draw it. So what's the plan here? Well, I probably want to kill the ones which uh, are weak to pierce first, because they're just going to go down faster. And then we fight four against three here, three. I don't have to think too much about fees though, this is the final fight, so... I'm gonna be using Sparking Spears here, here a lot. Also, let's see, let's see. The, you're all doing Pierce damage, you are enduring Pierce, so if people can go to you, that would be great. So these two already are. So I can intercept the rest if I want to. Like that, there you go, to get minimum damage here. And then you're going there, right? Not sure if the Sparking Spear is going to be in the Clash. I really want this thing to do damage. Do we have a Sparking Spear? You do actually have two of them. And you cannot intercept. Right. Well, I don't want my Sparking Spear to, like, not do anything. Well, I can do Trans Spears here, actually. But that's so good. No, actually, that's best for this ability, right? Yeah. He's gonna cast that though. Mm. Maybe we can kill this one before he casts it. I mean, this four goes there. But then this one does what exactly? Not much, right? Right. Uh, yeah, it would be kind of cool. It would be kind of cool if we can stagger. Who's that anyway? That's Anton. Okay, no, he's... He's normal. No, he's weak. He is weak. So we can stagger him. Right. So, Sparking Spear. Sparking Spear. Sparking Spear, right? And then uh, you pick him up. Where is this going? There. And then you pick him up with cleanup. There we go. 
So everyone else should go first. Stagger him. And then once he's staggered, clean up. Flash of sun up. Flash of sun up, right? So we kill this one, hopefully. And then four against four is a much easier fight. Uh, hopefully we did not mess this one up. That stagger doesn't go down fast enough. I think we have one more spear, right? Yep, there we go. Staggered, so he's not gonna get to play his uh, immortality card. Yeah, this turned out pretty good, actually. There we go. Four and four now. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, eight dice against four. <laughs> We're gonna demolish them. Okay, uh, let's see. Again, I would like people to attack here if possible. This is my tank. He has the he has the pierce and dirt, and their most dangerous attacks are pierce attacks, so. So let's see. You go here, you go here. So I can pick up this dude here as well. I'm gonna pick up with this and uh I'm gonna clean up after that. Okay. Where are you going? There. Pretty strong dice. I maybe can stagger these dudes. They're trees. I wonder. This is one thing I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I cannot go for this tree. Even though he targets it by itself, if we intercept here, we cannot intercept with him. So, okay. I mean, I can intercept with a 4, right? If uh, this was a 4, then I can choose. But uh, with a 3, I cannot. Okay. So we pick this up, right? So now if I want to in, I can try to kill one of these two, or we can just go and stagger everyone. Where are you going? Right, you're going there. I think we just play like, okay actually who's that? That's Valerie. I believe Valerie, no Valerie's just bad. Uh, Lila here has some really, really strong cards. He's not using them. Ah, it's, there are some extra cards. Yeah, the giving giving me Paralys, something like that. It's probably not a huge deal. They're all weak to Pierce. So I should play Trans Pierce whenever, a Sparking Spear whenever I can, right? Yeah, let's not waste the Sparking Spear. So I'm gonna clash with something else here. There we go. Do you have Sparking Spear? You don't. Do you have Sparking Spear? No, you don't. Uh... Right, not, not ideal, but okay. Well, then we just play Flash of Sun up and maybe clean up. I think we're gonna have enough light next turn as well. Yeah, just a little bit damage all over the place so we can get some nice staggers when we need them, I guess. That's that's a really good one though. That sparking spear. And I won't uh, wait for them to for their thing to run out before uh, I do it. I think somebody got staggered on my team. I love it. I love it when Flash of Sunup actually wins brawls. Like, I never, like, count on that. Yeah, this is pretty bad, actually. 
I did not count on him getting staggered, so almost lost the cut right here. And well, he got a lot of procs off, so yeah. At least we don't bleed out or anything, right? Okay, well, luckily enough, nobody's attacking here. I mean, if we lost him, we would still be fine, probably. I mean, it's three against four, and yeah, that's. Yeah, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have tanked so much because yeah, I got staggered and then after that, uh, after that, I was getting double damage. So, okay. Uh, let's see now. Let's see now. This one can easily be staggered. This one. Well, they are playing weak cards now anyway. So, what are you doing? Getting him would be good, maybe. I don't know. Can we stagger him? He is weak to to that. What's up with this restore to light card? Like, look at their light. They have way too much light. They can't even use all of it. Like, no way. Well, anyway, let's see who has the sparking spear. You have the sparking spear. You don't, and you don't. That's too bad. Uh, I can do some real stagger here with the sparking spear but somebody else has to pick up the the deal though who's the most confident not gonna die from that you are right I can also do strand spears Uh, let's do this. I should have piled up on one of them, I guess, but that's okay. Let's see how that turns out. So we go here, that's fine. Probably fine still. Two of them. Eh. Enduring, stagger resistant peers, so that's probably okay. Depends what they roll. Pretty. Oh, you're actually normal on, on blunt, right? Gonna get hit twice here. I'm not a huge fan of that. There. No, just in case. There. Just in case, let's pick this one up here. Okay. Oh, nice. There we go. Sparking spear. There we go. Almost staggered. There we go. Staggered. Nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for him first here. Hello, welcome back, Dakota. Um, let's see, so he has one more turn of persistent. So probably not like a huge priority. Let's see if I can win without using Dakota here. Um, <laughs> classical Neo, right? Okay, this one's easily staggered, no problem. Okay, nobody of them is using like any super dangerous abilities. Alright, where are you going? Here. I can pick you up, but not really need it. It's gonna be fine. Okay, do we finally have some sparking spears though? You do. Um. There we go. That's okay. This one, this one we can, uh, this one we can stagger. So let's do it. You can stagger. It's slash normal. Unless we roll one twice, it's gonna stagger. That would be insane though if it happens, right? We have to go for this one though. Well, anything will work here. 
So we need something that does a lot of damage. Nah. Let's do some small ones here. Let's do this, maybe. Oh, right. That's good. That's good. It's okay, I guess. So yeah, I'm trying to win without Dakota here. I know it's crazy, but... <laughs> it's great, great. Okay, staggered, good. So next turn they lose their thing, so we can start uh, killing them like flies. I think we did too much damage on this one, maybe? Oof, just barely not. Oh no, he's gonna bleed out now and get some HP back, isn't he? Oh no, actually, that's pretty good. So I'm just pretending that Dakota actually died since he's on 9 HP. <laughs> okay, uh, right, so just... Uh, Transpierce here should finish the job. On use. Oh no, he's gonna use it. Ah, that's that's crap. That's crap. Okay. Uh, right. We can kill this one though. We can stagger this one. It's a four. There we go. So that will stagger. You, however. But I need to kill that one. This will go through. This will go through. Yeah, let's kill that one now when we have the chance. Yeah, let's get some mana back. There we go. I mean... Ah, whatever. Let's go for it. I think I put enough damage there, hopefully. But yeah, it was a bit harder fight because I was not able to get to tier 4 uh, here. But other than that, I think I played pretty well. Used my decks, healed up. Delayed first two fights, healed up. Got into a really good position. And okay, yeah, he proc the thing. Yeah, he got a lot of HP back. That's If you proc this thing, it's pretty bad, it seems like. Okay, we can kill this thing. So where are you going? I'm going there. Uh, there's gonna be a stagger there. Okay, you're going there. I cannot intercept. So this is pretty bad. This one might die. Maybe. Probably. So I need to kill this one. That's a priority, right? And then go for him. How much damage? Let's say... Let's start staggering him as well. Okay, let's see who has the Sparking Spear. We have the Sparking Spear. I can start feasting as well. Uh, you have the Sparking Spear. So that's good. And you're going here, right. And then this one needs to die, right? So we're gonna do... Clean up probably, I feel like I need more light. It's really hard without Dakota though, oh my. <laughs> now you, I think you're gonna get your turn. Three to eight, that's normal, so that's already almost staggered. I can try to defend against three to eight, I guess. Well, I can do some damage at least if I'm going down with Transpierce.
Oh. Yeah, I think I did not set up the the ordering there good enough. There we go, that one's that. So three against two, although my dudes are pretty much wounded here. Oh. Don't you dare. That's cheating. He's not there. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. That's a five. Okay, only way I can intercept that is with this six here. I'm making this one... I'm doing this on purpose, by the way, making it harder for myself. I could use him. Weak. So I pick this one up with uh, no flash of sun up. There you go. Okay, you're doing transpires on this die, and you. Do you have the tank? By the way, you have two more turns of it, right? There you go, nobody goes for my Dakota. He did a lot of work, he needs to rest. And I messed up the ordering. I think, no I did not, okay. Okay, this one's staggered. Two more turns of the freaking thing. Yeah, that's a really strong card actually. Oh! Oh, okay. So I have to wait for this to go away and then next turn we finish it off. So this turn we just need to like, stagger him. So let's do it with a sparking spear here and uh, I don't know. Flash of sun up. Don't touch the Kota, that's forbidden. We have to like wait here. Well let's feast, why not, right? Just don't wanna kill him, have to be careful. We actually won that one. Staggered, nice. Okay, now she's ready to be killed. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad actually. So we need to win the clash here. Is, is this going to go through right away? Not sure actually. would kind of suck if it does, doesn't it? Well, let's see. Now, he needs some beating up. Well, this will stagger for sure, though. So if that goes bad, uh, let's start uh, taking that HP down. Now, he needs to get some, we need to get some damage on him. Okay, let's paralyze him, that's for sure. Wait, what? That did not stagger? What was that all about? Wasn't she about to get staggered? I don't know, something went weirdly there. <laughs> I think I have to call it Dakota here in. Uh, right. Neo, what are you doing? Oh, he doesn't have the immortality card. Oh, he's using that. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is not going well. <laughs> I need to stop messing about and just finish the job here. 
I tried, I tried, just didn't, didn't really work out. So I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use my Dakota here, I feel like I have to. And, oh, poor Yum Yum's gonna die, <laughs> Yum Yum. <laughs> Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This is entertainment, people. You would not understand if I don't do it. He's so strong, though. Like, what the heck? I played a little bit too much here. Um, uh, yeah, that's what I get for being cocky, I guess. I guess they used all their persistent things though, so no more persisting stuff. They're all going for Dakota here? Okay, except this one. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, if you're gonna go down, go down in style, right? I'll try to use something here, but. So what are you weak to? Well, you can get staggered by Sparking Spear at least. Mm. If I don't do this, where does this go? To him. I guess he's dead then. Okay. Uh to four. Wait, where's this five going? No, no, no. I go there. Oh, right. Why can't I switch it to this one ex again? I can. Good. Okay. No! Dakota! Oh, he's still alive? Wait, what? They are still alive, come on. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay. So five goes here, three goes there. I mean, he heals, right? And all offensive dice on this page gain on hit record to HP. So, so he's healing like crazy. Okay, this one's getting destroyed here, right? Different. Well, this one's gonna be good, right? Yeah, that's gonna happen first. Okay, okay. This will happen first. So this one doesn't go through. And then you do whatever, but... Um, yeah. So you're gonna kill her. Can I, like, do this? So you mess him up, and then you can finish off here, hopefully, like that. So this happens first, that's really important. This happens first, this doesn't do anything. He. This happens first, we sparking spear for the family. Hopefully win. Kill him, I don't know. There we go. Staggered. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's try to win without Dakota. Well, still not done, though. 
but he dies now, so it's like two against one, although we are on our last legs. I guess the Kota have rested enough and comes back for the rescue. Uh, this might kill. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let's try Sparking Spear this one here. Well, as it transpires, Oof. no, Sparking Spear lost two twos, it lost two times. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Dakota, can you do it, Dakota? Well, we'll see. I don't think it can, but okay. Oh boy. Ah, why was I fooling around? Oh no. <laughs> Well, we're gonna come back tomorrow and destroy them. I had fun though. Learned a lot about the the things. Oh, right. I totally forgot. I got another floor. <laughs> uh, so this is the balancing thing. But I could do it like with only one group if I was not messing around. Okay. So who's gonna take it out then? Oh, that's cool. We cannot use the... We can't use the pages that... Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll just grab what we have here, right? I don't even know. <laughs> Do we even have any other page here that we can use? We can use Olga, alright. Okay, you got some pages. I don't know, let's just give you some pages. Uh. Where's the light gaining one? Recover, there we go. All these cards return life, really? Whatever. This should be dead, right? Hopefully. That's why I'm not like min maxing here. I really thought that's it, we're gonna have to do it again, but. Um... Oh, look at Levi go. <laughs> I swear, I totally forgot I have another floor here. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> oh boy. Curtain call for the reception of sweepers. Ah, the game's too easy. Like, if you have two floor, how can you lose that? Look at... Yeah, emotion level bonus, Book of Valerie, Book of Lila. Three books of Val La uh, Valerie and two books of Lila just from the emotion level bonus. Oh, look at that. We didn't really get anything here. Really? There's no book of the third dude, though. No. Ah, oh, yep. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Boy, that was exhausting. Those sweepers sure are persistent. What kind of deal could have made them so desperate, I wonder? The most I can tell is that the sweepers are losing their ground, so they try to make a deal to do something about it. Could we get to know more? No idea, maybe the invitation will show us the answer eventually. You seem to be really fixated on the sweepers, by the way. What's up with that? 
Something about them smelled suspicious. They do have an awful smell, I'll give you that. Take a sniff of those filthy bandages and your appetites... Uh, are you insane? Sheesh, can't even crack a joke? Well, anyway, this is the first time our Miss Library Director let her intuition speak so much. I guess it won't hurt to keep an eye on this case. Okay, well, almost two hours again. I have to do something about this. Um, so do I just keep making two hour videos? That seems a little bit crazy. Yeah, I would like my videos to be between 30 and 60 minutes, ideally. Uh, this is not the game for it, I guess. I think I'll just, uh, you know, if the fights are gonna be this this long, well, I am thinking a lot, so it's partially my, my fault. But I feel like if the fights are gonna be this long, I'll, uh, I'll probably make a cut. Like, if there are three receptions, I'm gonna do two receptions in one episode, and then the third one in the next one. I'm gonna record them back to back and upload videos in two days because a two hour video takes long time to upload and process by YouTube, it's crazy. Also, nobody's gonna click on that, which is one of the goals. One of the goals is to have fun and enjoy and, you know, interact with the viewers. But another goal is actually to draw more people in. And when people see a two hour video, they're not gonna be like, yeah, sure, I'm, I have two hours to spare, right? Right. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you... If you mind me breaking these episodes apart into you, that's what I do with the uh, card quest. Like I do a run and then break it up into three episodes back to back. I know, we'll try, we'll try. This one, obviously, since you already watched it, I uploaded it in full, but uh, starting tomorrow, starting tomorrow, once the video starts approaching one hour, I'm gonna break it up in half and uh, yeah, we're gonna do the other half in the next episode because it feels like this will happen more and more, right? Especially if I'm using like cards like, um, especially if I'm using cards like uh, Feast and making sure we have the best chance going from reception to reception, right? Also, let me know if there's a better healing card than, than Feast. But I think it's okay. For, for healing, also a really good block on top. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's wrap this one up. I had a lot of fun with this one. Like that feeling when I realized I lost, I was like, okay, sure, we'll just do it again. But in back of my head, I was like, oh no, Neo, like, who's gonna love to watch that? I don't know, do you, do you wanna see me lose? Would that be exciting for you? And then when I realized I have another floor, I was like, okay, we can I probably just go in with green cards and win at that point, but uh, that would be ridiculous, so. Yeah, I clicked up a couple of pages. Turns out Levey staggered the thing on the first turn. Something to consider, something to consider. No, actually it was Stefan, not Levey. Sorry about that. So Stefan staggered with going for the bullseye. I guess we got a really good roll on it. Okay, cool. Well, that's gonna be it for next episode. For this episode, next episode, uh, I'm. Well, we need to burn books, right? Yeah, I did not get a third one though. Did not get the third one. I guess we continue the story. At some point, I'll have to like come back to this fight. I think. I don't know. This card is like. Yeah, this is a sweeper's exclusive page, so I would have to use a sweeper if I want this. It's a little bit better than, uh, yeah. But I don't, you know, I don't want to use sweepers, right? Although this is kind of fun, Health Howler. Record 2 HP on successful attack. This could be... Oh, when another character dies, record 5% max HP at the end of the scene. So yeah, I think they were healing a lot with these abilities as well. I don't know, could be an interesting tanking character, I guess, Leela here. And we can add some more things just to make it viable. 
Like with trash disposal on Lila, I would probably be able to... Well, this thing only heals for two actually. For four, same as the Feast, so it's not really that good. But uh, two more HP on a successful attack. Yeah, if you ever need a tank, this would be a good tank, I guess. They have good resistances, normal, normal endured and normal endured normal. But they don't get extra dice, right? Well, I guess I could enchant the, the extra dice on... Oh, now you're thinking, Neo, now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. I could, I guess. So are we getting to the point where I'm again want to run like some uh... So let's see where's my Mars here. Okay. I just want to double check that I can actually do it. Pretty sure I can. Right. Where's my Mars page then? There we go. So I can enchant speed, so that problem solved, right? Yeah, that's actually pretty interesting. Hmm. Recover 2 HP on a successful attack. That would be a really good card in this fight that we just fought. A lot of healing. Endured Pierce. <laughs> look at how does she look like uh, Nietzsche. How does Nietzsche look like in that? Just a head on top of the. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, obviously, course cleanup's not gonna be super useful. Defensive dice power plus one is interesting. But uh, this is a really good one. No, I'm just being silly here, right? What am I even doing? I'm just being silly. I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid. Just forget everything I said. Just forget everything I said. I mean... <laughs> we just go here. And be like... What don't we need? Well, we're using that and battle ready. That's already seven. But if I want that, I can just enchant it, right? Different. Whatever. Yum yum. Hello there, yum yum. Uh. So I can be like, yeah, pff, I don't need these, I don't need these. Um, where is he? Come on. We're gonna get to the point here eventually. We're gonna get to the point here eventually. Uh, do we have some kind of filter or something? Why can't I see Lila here? Uh, reset. Yeah, why don't I see Lila here? Something's weird. I don't see Lila here for some reason.
Is it possible we cannot? No, we can. We can enchant Valerie's page here. Oh, there we go. Finally. <laughs> so, yeah, we can just do that, right? Finally, finally. Recover 2 HP on successful attack. I think this is really good for long drawn out fights like we, the one we just had. Way better than using Feast. 2 HP on successful attack. That's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna be equipping that across the board here. But anyway, we really need to wrap this one up. So, next time we're gonna go and invite these ones here. Hopefully you enjoyed this fight. It was a doozy. <laughs> all, the, all the way to the point where it was unclimactic finish when I realized, oh, I got another floor here. So next time we're gonna slot in the Book of Musicians of Bremen and Book of Full Stop Office. I wonder if we're gonna meet Hi Hao and the rest of the gang here. It would be pretty cool. Anyhow, uh, starting from tomorrow, if video is gonna be much longer than one hour, I'm gonna cut it in half. So, yeah. This is the last two hour video. There's no way I'm doing more. <laughs> In any case, uh, if you had fun, like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do something nice. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Library of Ruina. <laughs> of Ruina. <laughs> Numer signing out. Bye bye.